Hello everyone. Welcome to Dr. Rajkumar Academy for Civil Services. Let us discuss today the Hindu newspaper of Delhi edition. The first article is about the India's population to edge ahead of China's by mid 2023. The report says by United Nation. So the Indian population projected to reach 142.86 crore against China's 142.57 crore. So this particular article is stating about overtaking the population of China by India by the middle of 2023 according to the report released by the United Nations. The report name called World Population Report of 2023 which is released by United Nations Population Fund UNFPA. So the report also stated the world population hit the 800 crore mark in November 2022. Add on to this particular article we need to understand to handle the situation. So challenges and opportunities we need to understand from this particular topic. The challenges the most people on the planet could prove to be a big negative for India unless it can provide food, education, housing, health services and jobs to its people. So the scale of this challenge is going to be gigantic. In 2020, India has 900 million people that is 67 percentage of the total population in the working age group of 15 to 64. This is expected to expand by another 100 million by 2030. So the concern here is about the aging population. You need to understand that concept as well. And based on this particular report, the population trend slower growth and aging societies. Just eight countries will account for off of the projected growth in global population by 2050 that is the Democratic Republic of Congo. Egypt, Ethiopia, India, Nigeria, Pakistan and Philippines and the United Republic of Tanzania. While two thirds of people now live in a country where lifetime fertility corresponds with the zero growth. So that is the biggest challenge. And the opportunities here is climb for permanent member at UNSC. If India becomes the largest country it will give Indians a claim to be the permanent member of the United Nations Security Council. You know about this is known as geopolitical reality has changed and new powers have emerged which deserve a place alongside the old Russia, UK, China, France and United States. And also increase in the fiscal policy. The fiscal resources can be diverted from spending on children to investing in modern physical and human infrastructure. So that will increase the economic sustainability of our country. And also rise in workforce. 65 percentage of the working age population automatically India can rise as an economic superpower. Supplying more than half of Asia's potential workforce. Increase in the labor force, rise in women's workforce. So these are all the major area supposed to be focused in terms of challenges and opportunities because of the hike in the population in our country. Move on to the next topic. Have informed states of same-sex marriage hearing government tells Supreme Court. Yesterday itself we discussed this particular topic in detail related to same-sex marriage. The center on Wednesday informed the Supreme Court that it has written to the chief secretaries of the states informing them that the same sex marriage case is being heard by Supreme Court. So it is about the states can now view this particular thing that was informed by the Supreme Court of India. Just go through this topic already we discussed in deep regarding the same. We'll move to the next topic of the day. More age appropriate rating ratings for film soon. The cabinet on Wednesday cleared the cinematography amendment bill 2023. There is a provision under this particular bill 
for harsher punishment for film piracy and introduction of new age categories for classifying the films. The statement given by the Information and Broadcasting Minister Anurag Thakur. So now the draft version of this bill circulated in the year of 2021 provided for up to three years of imprisonment and 10 lakh penalty for those engaged in the film piracy. So this draft bill expanded the category in terms of the age appropriate rating. We need to understand the, the censorship of films in India here. The Supreme Court of India in November 2000 upheld a Karnataka High Court order which struck down the center's revisional powers in respect of films that are already certified by the board. Based on that, the provisions of draft Cinematography Amendment Bill 2021 was circulated. So granting the revisionary powers, subdivision of existing the UA category. This is what important for us because this particular article is focusing on this age appropriate ratings. The provisions relating to the certification of films under UA, unrestricted public exhibition. This category are proposed to be amended so as to subdivide the existing UA category into age-based categories like UA7+, UA13+, and UA16+. And also piracy. Punishment for the piracy comes under Section 6AA of draft legislation make piracy as a punishable offence. So, you know, CBFC, Central Board of Film Certification, is a statutory body under the Ministry of Information and Broadcasting, regulating the public exhibition of films under the provisions of Cinematography Act 1952. That's all about the article. Moving towards the next important article of the day. <coughs> Next important article where you can give attention towards the heat wave. In a first Meghalaya school shed due to prevailing heat wave. Yesterday I explained you what is the uh, term called heat wave. Today Meghalaya after Tripura, Meghalaya has announced the closure of all educational institution in part of the state due to a heat wave. This is the first such instance for a state know more of its pleasant weather and ample rain. So this particular uh, state, see temperatures in part of the Garo Hills have been recorded more than 35 degrees Celsius over the past few days. Prompting the concern over the safety and well-being of the students, teachers and staffs, an order from West Garo Hills Deputy Commissioner stated that the closures of the schools and a precautionary measure is also taken by the district authority because the risk of heart stroke dehydration and other heat related illness cannot be ignored in this particular situation so you need to understand the increase of the degree the indian meteorological department has issued a bulletin stating that maximum temperatures in the in the daytime or expected to be 35 to 39 degrees Celsius across the Tribra for a few days. That is the reason behind the district authorities and the state authority took a call to shut down the schools to provide them from the heat wave. Next article of the day. See this particular editorial page that you can uh, read this article, it is a new assault on India's liberty. Uh, again, it's a concept related to the information technology, intermediary guidelines and digital media ethics. Okay, 2021 or we can call it as IT rules. This amendment grants to the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology unbridled power to create a fact check unit that can identify 
false or misleading online content that concerns the central government's business in any manner. So the social media intermediaries fail to prevent users from the hosting of publishing the information. This particular article, the key amendments to this IT rules of 2021, we need to understand. There was a new guidelines for social media intermediaries given. Currently, the intermediaries are only required to inform users about not uploading certain categories of harmful content. But this amendment imposed a legal obligation on intermediaries to take reasonable effort to prevent users from the uploading such content. And also the amendment requires intermediaries to respect the rights guaranteed to users under Article 14, 19 and 21 of the Indian Constitution as well. So these are all the major key uh, IT rules. Just have a look of this article and read in a way how this particular uh, restrictions through the executives going to be happen. So this is about international relations, India, UAE, cooperations to slow regional food security. Just read this topic on your own. You get to know about few information regarding the same as well. Moving towards the next topic here. The Supreme Court Colligum Recall CJ's Transfers Proposal. So you need to understand this Colligum system. It is about the appointment of justice. So what is a Colligum system? It is a system of appointment and transfer of judges that has evolved through judgments of Supreme Court and not by an act of parliament or by a provision of the constitution. 1981, the first judge case came into existence, that is the abolition of your colleague. It declared that the primacy of CGA, Chief Justice of India, recommendation on judicial appointment and transfers can be refused for cogent reasons. The second judge case, 1993, Supreme Court introduced the collegium system holding the consultation really meet the concurrence. The third judge case in the year of 1998, Supreme Court on the President's Reference Article 143 expanded the Collegium to a five-member body comprising the CJI and four of his senior most colleagues. So the Collegium system headed by CJI, Chief Justice of India and comprises four other senior most judges of the court. A high court Collegium is led by incumbent chief justice and two other senior most judges of the court. So in terms of appointment for chief justice of high court, the chief justice of the high court is appointed as per the policy of having chief justice from outside the respective state. So the collegium takes the call on the elevation. High court judges are recommended by collegium comprising the CJI and two senior most judges. This is your collegium system just to go through this topic and discussing MOU with India for training purpose cooperation on electric propulsion UK. The United Kingdom uh, came to help India develop maritime electric propulsion technology and both sides have idea to engage in the exercises in terms of developmenting the future warship and both sides have held two rounds of discussion on how to take this forward. Here we need to understand one term which is known as the future warship. It is going to be based on electric propulsion technology. What is electric propulsion technology? You need to understand this concept based on this article. See, electric propulsion technology was solar energy, uses solar energy to convert it into electric power to enhance the propulsive performances of the satellite system. So you need to understand this article, it's going to be 
important for India in terms of future development. Apart from that, what other topic that you can focus is Union Cabinet gives nod for 6003 crore quantum mission. What is this mission? The Union Cabinet approved a 6003 crore national quantum mission. So quantum computing. This particular mission provides the fund for the purpose of research and development of quantum computing technology and associated applications of the same. What is this quantum computing? This quantum computing is a concept, is a rapidly emerging technology that harnesses the laws of quantum mechanics to solve problem too complex for the classical computers because this particular mechanics is a subfield of physics and describes the behavior of particles such atoms, electrons, photons and almost everything in the molecular and submolecular realm. It is an existing new technology that will shape our world tomorrow by providing us with an edge and a myriad of possibilities. It is a fundamentally different way of processing information compared to today's classical computing systems as well. So it helps in terms of navigation system in the magnometers with high sensitivity in automatic system. So these are all the area that you can focus on what kind of systems it can help. So India is going to be launch this particular mission. Already it was done and for that purpose 6003 crore was funded by the union government. <clears throat> Apart from that you can read the article uh, regarding the home loan inquiries slow youth seek unsecured credit. It is about the uh, you know credit information company how the trend of providing the loan in terms of interest that you can read that particular article so just go through all the articles whatever we discussed in depth and uh, the area to be focused the remaining topics whatever I mentioned just have a read over it if you want to know what other topics to be read just follow our telegram channel there we are sharing what topics to be read for the day from the Hindu so get a benefit of it and even who are preparing for case examination there we are sharing the file what topics to be read from the Prajabani as well so you can go through the official channel of our academy so that you will get updates related to the same so stay tuned see you tomorrow thank you